Let's talk about object oriented in Perl, how to create classes in Perl, and we are going to use Moose. Uh, although there are various uh, ways to create objects and classes and objects in Perl, we are going to learn about Moose right now. The really first example is this. So you would write, a, you'd like to use the, the, the code like this, uh, write a script, uh, you would do the regular stuff, load the module in memory, and then code the constructor uh, to create a person. And that's what I see the teacher. The implementation of this is really, really straightforward in Moose. You create the person PM. In there, you say package person because that's a package, just as a, any other module. Then you will use Moose, and that's it. One that could one semicolon is just the end of the file, and um, this automatically creates a constructor which is called new. So now, if you have this module, you can load the you can load it, and you can call the constructor, and it will create an object of the person type. Now, this is of course not really enough. Uh, uh, really, a little bit more useful way is to use the script this way. So we have um, we create a person object, the teacher object, which is a person object, and then call the name method of it to set the, the, the name of uh, this teacher. So let's call the teacher foo. And then call the same method again to fetch the, the value that we just set and print it out. The implementation of this is still quite simple. So you have the outside part that we saw earlier, and this is the way you are declaring attributes. The first thing is that we are saying that the person has a name. So this is the way we declare that the person class will have an attribute called name and we have to explain how, what kind of uh, at, uh, uh, access source to create, whether to create both getter and setter and the way we do it is we say this is read-write because it's read-write it means that Moose will automatically create an accessor called name which is both a setter so you can set the value and the getter so you can fetch the value from this. So that's the whole thing, that's the whole way you create a class in uh, Moose and then it automatically created your the constructor and the setter getter for this attribute and not only that but here in this example you can see that you can use in the constructor you can use key value pairs in this case name and the value foo in order to create a new object that already has the name attribute set to foo.